Zombie company refers to those companies should go bankruptcy, but with the help of, say, uh, banks mm -hmm. or local government, and these two uh, survive. But then uh, the problem is one inefficiency, and and to make things even worse, because they will. Uh, 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 Increase the risks of the banks as well. Yes, yeah. so it's a misallocation of resources. What do you think? What are the solutions as you see it? Uh, last year, what we did is we set a very uh, strict uh, goals for those the quotas, as quota, they say. like the uh, coal industry and the iron and steel industry. And this is good, uh, but it cannot solve all the problem. So the situation is m more complicated. So in the, down the track, what we can do is we'll continue to use those very successful uh, policies. But at the same time, we'll add some new policies. Okay. New policies like that we can, we can, we can have a more strict... Uh, Environmental protection standards? Yeah. If you have a higher standard, and for those more competitive companies, and th that's not a problem mm -hmm. for them. And for those companies, and they do not have um, advanced the technology, and they, are, they have very poor management, and and they will disappear. Mm -hmm. So this is a very, very, very good uh, policy that that you can you can kill several birds with one stone. But that means a lot of monitoring, though. No, that means that you have to clear. Uh, you you have to very carefully uh, design uh, the 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 regulation the rules. The rules, yeah. If you have the rule very clear, and then uh, all the company know what is the rule of the game, and they will change their behavior. Previously, because there is no such kind of rule, and then it's a uh, it's a uh, competition uh, uh, down to the bottom. The decapacity issue is not unique to China. Mm -hmm. uh, and some wondering uh, whether we can learn historical lessons from the others as well. There's also the issue of zombie company in the you know, United States mm -hmm. because after the, uh, the uh, September 11th uh, terrorist attack, a lot of uh, airline company, they had difficult time. Uh, they are at the brink of bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. And what we learn from the lesson uh, in Japan and the United States is the the uh, if you want to deal with zombie company, if you want to deal with overcapacity, it's a very prolonged period. Mm -hmm. It took roughly one decade for those uh, two uh, uh, countries to solve the problem. Can China afford that? That long? we we have to be patient. That is sometimes you have to be more patient and wait for more market uh, mechanism to play more important role. Uh, the good thing of uh, using more administrative measure is, is it seems that you can solve the problem more quickly, but then at the same time you'll cause more problem. So for policymakers, one lesson we, we can learn is this is a long period and very complicated, so we have to be more patient. The uh, professor of patient is probably a very great word, but mm -hmm. at the same time, can we really wait that long? I mean, at, we can. on the one hand, you have to look at the growth rate. It's not the only important thing, but mm -hmm. it is still important. Mm -hmm. uh, employment as well, how to do with those people who are being, you know, shrugged off from those uh, zombie companies. We have done some research on the issue of zombie company, and one uh, topic that we are uh, uh, especially uh, concerned about is the uh, unemployment. Yes. Um, by our estimation, one, the overall size of laid-off worker uh, is not very large. Uh, and second, uh, there is the... Uh, Can you give us a number or something? Uh, roughly four million. Number. So but you know then, how many zombie companies are there? Um, we, we have done some estimation. It's not very precise, mm -hmm. but then it can give you a general picture. Yeah. So in the list the company in China, by our estimation, we have using different uh, methodology. So uh, roughly speaking, uh, 15 to 20 percent of them may be uh, zombie company. Mm -hmm. um, and at the same time, you have to uh, uh, take into consideration there is the uh, rapid change of the demographic profile. So the labor market, the job market, uh, compared with uh, one decade ago, is quite different. 
yes, the demand for labor is declining because we are in economic slowdown. But at the same time, the supply of new laborers, because of birth control and also because of you know, people's design, mm -hmm. how many children they, they want to raise, also changing. So I'm not concerned about unemployment in general in China. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, you know, it's a structural problem. Um, overall, nation, uh, the, the, the nationally speaking, there's no problem. But in some area, and in some towns, for example, like the whole town in, 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 in Dongbei, in northeast area, in Shanxi area, for some town, the whole town is one uh, factory. Mm, one factory. Uh, w the whole town is one uh, coal mine, is one uh, iron uh, factory, and then for three generations, they, uh, they are all working for this same factory, mm. and that's a problem. So we have to design some policy that can be more precisely targeted at those uh, people. The other thing that is important in terms of dealing with zombie companies is mm -hmm. what to do with the banks, because we all know the zombie companies, yeah. they yeah. exist because the banks still give them the money mm -hmm. um, for one reason or the other. Mm -hmm. So if zombie company collapsed, mm -hmm. will the banks go with them? That's a big question mark, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so zombie company is a big problem, but more serious problem is zombie company and will lead to more zombie banks. Mm -hmm. And the reason, why, so the reason why uh, that we are now talking about the, uh, the uh, reform of the financial regulation system uh, is to how we deal with this potential financial risk. Mm -hmm. So you have to reform the financial sector at the same time and then to make them be more uh, cautious when they are lending money to those zombie companies. That seems to be a very challenging balance act. In the short run, there's pains that you have to take. So I heard any, outside, Professor. Any, <laughs> any medicine uh, is very uh, the, the bitter. Uh, so you have to uh, take the pain in the short run. But the good thing is, in the long run, that you can pave the way for long-term growth. And the good thing is, uh, at the same time, China's economic growth, um, although compared to previous years, is, is, is slower, but right. then it's quite uh, stable. So I think a, a more gradual approach uh, is better, because uh, it can give more room uh, for uh, the uh, uh, banks and uh, the companies and the policymakers to deal with this problem. Sounds like magic remedy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much, Professor He, for sharing with us your opinions mm -hmm. and also your suggestions. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm.